Once upon a time, there were no food colorings. Then folks figured out that food looks better and consequently sells better when it's amped up with some nice lovely colors. For most of food history, the dyes came from natural sources, such as beet juice for red and turmeric for yellow. However, in the quest to maximize profit by lowering costs, artificial and much cheaper dyes were introduced to the market. Now the FDA is once again looking at blue 1 and 2, green 3, orange B, yellow 5 and 6, red 40 and red 3, found in everything from drinks to candies, baked goods, chips, even pickles and mac and cheese. Federal health authorities are failing to safeguard our food and a generation of children are suffering the consequences. Um, now, Dr. Carlton, one of the things I learned from you is that these colors are made from petroleum and they are contaminated with heavy metals. Things like lead, arsenic and mercury, things that have been linked to hyperactivity and even autism. The FDA has always said there's no evidence of an ADHD link, but now it says the data suggests their condition may be exacerbated by exposure to a number of substances in food, including but not limited to artificial food colors. Three years ago, when eight-year-old Riley was showing signs of ADHD, his mom threw out every food containing artificial dyes and flavors. In two weeks, I could tell a difference in my children, in their handwriting, in their focus, doing homework. Jackie says this is an example of Riley's handwriting before the new diet and several weeks after. Food dyes cause hyperactivity or learning difficulties in some unknown percentage of kids. He cites two large British studies and about two dozen small studies that support that finding. And there was an important meta-analysis where statisticians added up, combined those two dozen or so stu smaller studies, and they found, they concluded that there definitely is an effect on children's behavior. They're totally unnecessary. The Food and Drug Administration should have banned these years ago. Many of these dyes have been removed from products in Europe. The European Union now requires most foods containing six specific food dyes carry a warning label stating that the color may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. What are your views on food dyes? Um, avoid them completely. How often that you are aware of do you buy food with food dye in them? I own a health food store, so I never buy anything with food dye in them. Never. I'm responsible for keeping me healthy. Um, if I'm going to do that, then I need to be knowledgeable. Nowadays, there are natural, healthy alternatives to the dyes. Knowledge is power, and in this case, knowledge is health. Help make this common knowledge. Pass it on.